What's going on guys? Today we're talking Gorilla, a micro brand, a smaller boutique brand that generated quite the buzz when they first came out and for good reason. Gorilla was founded by a couple of guys from Audemars Piguet with the lead designer being the ex-design manager and chief artistic officer of Audemars Piguet. They wanted to offer really well-made watches constructed with cutting edge materials not usually found at the more entry-level spectrum of the watch market. These watches are loud and fun but they're also very well made. They come in a wide variety of color options that can be paired with one of their many strap options. The claim to fame is that all of the watches are inspired by famous sports cars of the 60s and 70s, with some of the lines rightfully named the Fastback and the Fastback GT. It's why you see the car silhouette here in the case. I filmed this video in collaboration with Arctic Golden Gems here in Anchorage, Alaska, the go-to jewelry store for all of your jewelry needs. Not only are they the only supplier of Gorilla watches in the state of Alaska, but they're one of the only brick and mortar locations to check out Gorilla, period. I have been to a lot of watch boutiques and this was the first time I've seen Gorilla watches in the metal. As in the entirety of the United States, there are only five boutiques currently offering these watches. Big thanks to the entire Arctic Golden Gem staff. Make sure to check them out. I'll be linking the information in the video description below. Today we'll be looking at my three favorite watches from the case. The Fastback GT Moderna, the Fastback GT Blue Demon, and the Fastback Phantom Black. These watches are pretty similar in dimensions, coming in with a 44mm case diameter, 48.5 if you include the crown guards, a 13mm case thickness, and a 57mm lug to lug. The GTs do have a slightly better movement, operating at 4 hertz compared to 3, and they have a showcase of the exposed balance wheel at 530. They do also include a hack and seconds feature. The Fastback runs on the Miyota 8215, while the GTs run on a Miyota 90 S5. Nothing in-house is too groundbreaking when it comes to the movement, but that is how Gorilla manages to keep their prices down, because they go way above and beyond in other terms and areas of this watch. The Blue Demon has a retail price of $1,680, while the Moderna comes in just below that at $1,350. The Fastback Phantom Black stays under the $1,000 price point at $880. These watches are all made of the same base materials, but they're arranged in different ways. All three watches have ceramic bezels, which are always going to look great and be virtually scratch proof. All have a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating, for optimum legibility and an anodized aluminum plate underneath the bezel, which they coin a pinstripe. And they all have a forged carbon fiber case, which to me is the highest selling point of this watch. Carbon cases are usually found on much more expensive watches from the likes of Gerard Perigo or Ulysse Nardin. I have personally always liked the unique look and feel of a carbon fiber watch case because there really is nothing else like it. Carbon fiber is also known to be extremely light. It's pretty much the lightest material you could use, so this case paired with a titanium crown and a titanium case back just make this watch incredibly light and wearable on the wrist despite the size proportions. Everything is here for a reason and it all just comes together and works. I have always thought these watches looked cool in pictures, but they really need to be seen in hand and on wrist to be truly appreciated. So if you're in Alaska on vacation, try to start by Arctic Gold and Gems and check them out. To me, the Blue Demon is definitely one of the most polarizing Gorilla models. The blue and red colors really catch your eye and they kind of remind me of Superman's outfit. I know Gorilla likes cars, but I think this watch probably could have had a superhero tie-in as well. With the materials used, the overall cohesive package you get is just so unique and different than almost all the other competition at this price point. But with that said, it's definitely not a look that's for everybody. It's bold, flashy, and in your face. I don't think this is a watch you would necessarily want to wear every single day, but maybe it's a watch you would want to wear on the weekend. Maybe you would want to wear it with your weekend car. If you have a blue and red 1968 Mustang Fastback that you take out on Saturdays, it would be pretty cool to pair it with a blue and red Fastback GT watch. Speaking with the staff at Arctic Gems, they sell a lot of these to customers who want to do exactly that, match their car. Gorilla actually does a really nice light blue color on some of the watches that would match really well with a Miami blue Porsche 911. 
In that aspect, I think it's a watch that can appeal to non-watch people as well as watch enthusiasts. My father owns a 1985 black and red Camaro IROC Z. He's never been into wristwatches, but I think if you could match that car, he might actually wear it. For that reason, I like that the GTs have the exposed balance wheel as well as the transparent case back so that you can get a true appreciation of the mechanical nature of these watches that so many of us watch nerds already enjoy. If you guys watch the channel regularly, you already know I'm a rubber strap guy, and I'm really impressed with the quality here for the price. Rubber straps definitely come at differing levels of quality, and this is right up there with the best of them. The most comfortable rubber strap I've probably had on wrist was a Frank Mueller Vanguard, and this is honestly right up there with that, and it's about 1 16th of the price. The rubber on my Omega Seamaster is also pretty comfortable, but because this strap is oversized and integrated, I think it actually feels more secure and soft on wrist. The angled case shape with the flat case back, of course, are also going to lend to that extreme level of comfort that you feel on wrist. I mentioned it before, but because everything on this watch is either ceramic, titanium, or carbon, it's very light which is going to lend itself to the overall wearability of this piece. This is definitely the biggest watch I have featured on this channel by a long shot, but it doesn't feel like it when you have it on wrist. So that's the Blue Demon, but let's look at another one of my favorites, the Modena. These watches may look busy at first glance, but they're actually quite legible. And I credit that to the high quality paints and colors used throughout, as well as the smart layout and design. The indices mimic a car speedometer, but read like many field watches that you're used to. The hour hand is actually a loom shaded prong of a three prong steering wheel in the center of the watch that keeps up with the racing theme. The other two prongs of the steering wheel are skeletonized. The second hand is partially skeletonized, but with a tip done in super luminova, just like the hour hand. As an end product, you have a very characteristic dial with good 3D dimensionality, but you don't have to stare at it for more than an eye's glance to tell the time. This watch is overall pretty close in terms of specs besides the color combination. There are two main differences to point out though. One is going to be the carbon case here it has the classic woven pattern that you typically see on carbon fiber compared to that steep ledge pattern seen on the previous watch. The other is going to be the standard strap. This strap has a FKM rubber strap, just like the last watch, but on the front, that's actually Alcantara. This gives the watch a flashier look and feel, and I think it's a great color combination and cohesive look. That's why I knew I had to show you guys this one. If we're talking cars, this watch screams Ferrari to me with the red and yellow, but with that Alcantara strap, you wouldn't want to get this watch wet. That's not going to be a problem though because there are so many other strap options you could switch it up if you decided to take this watch into the swimming pool. Which you could do because both the Fastback and the Fastback GT have a water resistance rating of 100 meters. Last but not least, let's look at my personal favorite watch of the day, the Phantom Black. The ceramic bezel is matte here compared to gloss like the other models. The carbon case also looks the most unrefined, which is the look I personally like. It probably offers the highest contrast, most rugged and tactile look of the three watches today. Green is also my favorite color. I wear green pretty much every day. You guys know I wear my Oyster Perpetual uh, Rolex a lot, the green dial, and I dress pretty casual most of the time. So I think this is a watch that I could definitely get away with wearing every day compared to the other watches that are kind of weekend watches or you at least have to try a little bit harder to match your outfit. All the other watches kind of scream in your face, but this watch is more low key and gives me Bell and Ross vibes. Compared to the Fastback GT, this, the standard Fastback, has a completely solid dial, which I think fits this model well, and it also has a solid case back. Compared between the two watches, I'd actually prefer the solid case back on both watches, because I think the engraved Screaming Gorilla is just plain cool. Here you're still getting a high quality rubber strap, but with textile on top, which shouldn't be a problem to get wet. It's similar to the strap on my Hamilton Cocky Field or the sailcloth strap that you'll get with a brand like Blancpain. Again, big thanks to Arctic Golden Gems. 
Without them, this video wouldn't have happened. We have some really exciting stuff in the works, some watches you guys are definitely going to want to see and check out, but I won't spoil any of that quite yet. If you're interested in Gorilla, they are definitely worth seeing in person. The only place that's going to happen in Alaska is at Arctic, and even if you're out of state, it might be worth giving them a call because most Gorilla watches are limited editions. So if it says they're sold out online, Arctic might be the place to look because they could still have some in stock you're not seeing on the Gorilla website. Please comment and let me know which of these three watches you guys like the best or if there's any other Gorilla watches you would like to see me cover on this channel. And guys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button because it helps the algorithms a lot and I really do appreciate it. Alright guys, I'll see you on the next one.